let us see what is meant by DRAM. DRAM stands for Dynamic Random Access Memory. In DRAM, the binary data is stored in the parasitic capacitor which discharges with time. So in order to retain this particular stored data, this capacitor has to be charged periodically. So that is the concept in DRAM where periodic refreshment is needed if you want to retain the data which is stored in the capacitor. And this particular DRAM can be implemented by using 1T, 3T and 4T. Here T stands for transistor. So this can be implemented by means of a single transistor or three transistors or four transistors. Now let us see the working of 1T DRAM. Here you can see the diagram for one transistor DRAM. It contains single transistor which is T1 and it contains one word line followed by bit line. And in order to store the data, I'm making use of this particular capacitor. So this is storage capacitor. So in this particular DRAM, either you can store the data or else you can retain the data. Means simply you can write the data or else you can read the data. First, let us see how to write the data into this particular DRAM. So to perform write operation, you have to hold some amount of data at the bit line. So this bit line can be used either as input or else it can be used as an output. Now as we are writing the data, we need to use this particular bit line as input means you need to hold some amount of data at this particular bit line which can be either 0 or it can be 1. So remember this point generally 1 is nothing but VDD and 0 is nothing but ground or else you can treat this VDD or logic 1 as 5 volt and ground or logic 0 as 0 volt. So in this write operation I am using this particular bit line as input. Next, we need to turn on this particular transistor N1. This is NMOS transistor. So, if I apply 0 at gate terminal, this particular transistor will be off. And if I apply 1 at NMOS, this particular transistor will be on. As I want to write the data which is present in this bit line into the storage capacitor, I have to turn on this particular T1. So, I will take this word line as 1. If I apply word line as 1, this will be on. On means simply it will act as short circuit. Therefore, there exists a path from bit line to the capacitor. So the information that you are holding at bit line will be stored into this particular capacitor. So this is the write operation of 1T DRAM. The same thing I have mentioned it here. During the write operation, the word line is enabled. Enabling is nothing but turning on, which is word line is equal to 1. So the transistor T1 will be on. Now the data from the bit line is stored in the capacitor. So that's what I've mentioned it here. Use simply bit line as an input and turn on the transistor T1 by means of word line. So the data which is present in bit line will be stored into the capacitor. This is write operation. Now let us see how to perform read operation. Reading is nothing but reading the data which is present in this capacitor via bit line. So I have to use this bit line as output. And again, if you want to access the data, simply put word line is equal to 1 so that this particular T1 will get turned on. Therefore, there exists a path by which you can read the data from capacitor onto the bit line which is shown here. The same thing I've mentioned it here during the read operation word line is enabled means put word line is equal to 1 so the transistor T1 will be on. Now the data which is stored previously in the storage capacitor becomes available at the bit line. So this bit line can be used either as an input or as output. Simply if you want to write the data use it as input. If you want to read the data use that bit line as an output. So this is the working of DRAM. 1T that is single transistor.